Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man ZX Advent. Last time we left off, we had defeated Buckfire, and now we kind of have a few locations we can head to. You know, we could have just walked to the Legion headquarters, but they refused to let us. Yeah, could have just followed the train tracks, right? So, because of that, now we need to get, uh, I wish I was kidding on this, materials to help fix the train. Yep. Uh, up this way, right? Yep. Yeah, you kind of have to go up now, no matter what. Yep. And then we got the red card key, or was it green? It was red. Uh, red card key. There you go. Why does this look like a piece of Ragnarok? <laughs> or, uh, Model W? Maybe. <laughs> you tell me, does this location look anything familiar? Kind of, it almost looks like what Area Zero used to look like. Okay, so we want to go up. So now we have two options. We can go down below, or we can go to the very top. Yep. Oh, before I forget, this is one person I want to talk to. Yep. <laughs> Blossom. She's a cutie. She's adorable. Yep. The reason as to why we're talking to her now is going to be for a later on side quest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I should mention to this right now. Every character in the Hunter's Camp, if you want to just simply talk to all of them, you can. They will do the introductions. Yeah. But if they slowly get an exclamation on them, uh, that means they have a side quest. Yep, side missions and stuff like that. It is so, so weird listening to Grey. So here we're going to the Tower of Urdu. Yep. Which, uh, if you want to ask my opinion, this is... I would say this is the preferred go-to for very good reasons. Yeah. You can do the other one, but I highly advise against that. Yeah, don't do what I do. <laughs> I usually go with the other route first. Now we got a bit of ourselves an interesting problem. Mm -hmm. Somehow the securities is on the fritz. Yep. How do I know that would be something Model A would say? Saying yo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, looks like we can't leave. Yep. <laughs> Surveil? That's a phrase you don't hear too often. to get rid of this little security problem, we need to go to the very top. Yep. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, don't jump around recklessly, by the way. Best There's spikes everywhere. Area, take your time. Yeah. yeah. Ah. I can say it's a weapon. I do. I always forget about it. Uh, my go-to is use a sub-weapon. God for damn now. it. Do I always get a little overconfident and jump into things I probably shouldn't? <laughs> but, so, like I said, try to take your time, be careful. Use the sub weapons on those electric flowers. Yeah. Kind of want those E crystals. Ooh, you almost got destroyed on that. Yeah, that one's always close. Get to get closer to it to activate it. I know, those red herring things. Going after all the secret disc, are you? No, I just can't remember the Tower of Verdu too well. You're going for a secret disc in this room. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's all this room is. Yeah. Hate you so much. I'd rather just shoot you. <laughs> you could. It's just that I feel like the sub weapons were better. A lot of things are good for them. The only thing I can warn is if anyone's asking for a secret disc location with this Let's Play, uh, you better up looking for elsewhere. Yeah, no, I I haven't even fully collected all the data discs yet. I I say, I hate those caterpillars. They are a pain. They're worse in the later stages. Oh, hey! 
Hey, the thing you hate the most. Ah, fuck this mini boss! I hate it so much. Uh, if I had to do a shit list on all of the mini bosses in Zia Cadjack, this is the worst. Cause yeah, you see those spike walls? Don't touch the spike walls. Yep. And you see those color coded on his hands? Uh, he can literally destroy those. Things, yeah. Meaning that you are under a severe time limit. You can go about as low as I think like three to four drops. Yeah, until you reach a bottom of spikes. That's just mean. And imagine trying to do this in expert mode and not get hit. <laughs> Oh, the this other is the fun thing, thing we didn't get to see is um, the fact that he can also spawn little baby spiders. Yep. This is what we were trying to go for because what would you get here? Easy light mode. Yep. And a funny thing inside the cylinders is actually a secret disc. Yep, a data disc. Don't worry. Um, when you come back to the location, that that thing does respawn. You guys get you will get plenty of time for that. <laughs> yeah, enemies will drop them every once in a while, too. No, that wasn't an enemy. That oh. Was oh, I didn't notice at all. I hate this Sadly, this so is much. not the Zero series of that every enemy would drop their disc. Yeah. But yeah, they introduce you to a lot of stuff here, and look at that, we're at the boss door already. <laughs> I can uh... only imagine what his reaction would be. <laughs> good friend of ours. Uh, when he first heard this boss speak, uh, he was uh, quite shocked, to say the least. With Grey, his dialogue's worse. Uh, that's the reason why we picked Grey first. For a raider to make it this far is quite something. Yep. That's echoing back. I better turn that down. <laughs> I like you. Accept my thorny embrace and allow your soul to be scattered like petals on the breeze. <laughs> Stay away from me! Stop! Like honeybees, one by one they are drawn to my nectar. You're quite a handsome boy. I like you. <laughs> So you're the one who caused the security system to malfunction. I'm planting a seed. A seed that will lay the foundation for the new world and the new king. It grows by feeding on the fear of those unfortunate enough to wander into this tower. There he is. I am Rose Park. <laughs> Come and cry in my bosom. There's cry the line. Out in terror uh -huh. and pain. <sighs> so this very flamboyant boss isn't that bad, really. No, he's, he's actually one of the joke. easier ones. He's a big joke, even especially when playing with Ash. Oh yeah, Ash. She just because of her her power output and the way her shot works. Uh oh. Now, one thing I did some research on my own, I actually looked up what a gross park is when fighting expert mode. A charged electric laser actually shoots in three directions. Oh, I can believe that. Otherwise, most of the movesets is nothing different. Good timing on that one. Thank you. <laughs> See what I again. Shit. I get to get to the <laughs> you should have jumped over him. I probably should have, but. Oh. Oh. Um, um, oh, that's right. He char recharges his health with that. Yep. Which is why you gotta be careful with that. Damn it! <laughs> hey! <laughs> you cry so good, boy. Shit! <laughs> you know, that line's missing with him just saying, my boy. 
I've never died to Rose Spark before! <laughs> Once more with Vigor. Yeah, at least the dialogue gets skipped the second time around. And now to actually properly explain, he shoots thorns. Sometimes those thorns can become like ah. uh, triangle electricity, so be careful with that. Sometimes whenever he goes from one pole to another, he can literally have electricity charged on them. Yeah. And then lastly, ah. his big electric uh, laser thing, he will always reach heal a little bit, which technically he's the only steroid that heals. Farewell. Yeah, really. Um, there was one in, um... Ah! I'm not taking the chance. <laughs> there we go. I underestimated you. Yeah, I like in no ZX, um... Your power was so I think I forgot his name. One of the model F bosses will heal, too, doing a similar scenario. In ZX? In ZX, yeah. Area G. Nice. I'm wilting. Wilting! <laughs> Dude had fun voice acting him. Yes, he did. <laughs> like, if there's any amazing voice actors in this game, it's the man who voiced Rose Spark. Speaking of Rose Spark. Oh my god. <laughs> That's... Yes, next area and see that dude's okay. This is gonna be a trend, isn't it? I'm gonna battle every boss with one unit of health left. Yes. <laughs> You're one of the gang who attacked our airship! Aren't you? What? No! Stop! Uh... Stay away! It's no use. He's in a total panic. Yeah, this is where I think that Green Ash's stories actually take place at the same time. It's just we're only getting the perspective of one. Well, to be fair, they never really told us where the biometal was found. Yeah. It makes more context here if to we help play you. Ash's story. Yeah. Otherwise, with Gray, we were just trying to escape. Mm-hmm. Stay back! Get away! Hi, Gary. Jerry. <laughs> Gary. What the heck just happened? It was happened? Jerry. It was a G. Yeah, I said Gary. Fair enough. Total ah. and utter defeat. That man, unable to endure the terror, fell victim to Model W. Model W? This humongous thing is a biometal? Surprisingly, yes. Data match found. Mm -hmm. Subject is Mega Man Model A. So, uh, if anyone was curious how a Reploid acts without any human emotion, uh, he's the he's the example. <laughs> I always like to jokingly say, what hey, look, it's a game you guys? That too. Mega Merge. You, the chosen one for Model A? What a disappointment. I am Eolus, the Wind Mega Man, Model H. Codename Sharnak, Shadow Mega Man, Model P. Model H? Model P? Are these the other Mega Men Prometheus was talking about? Operational time limit exceeded. Retrieve Model W. Wait! You think you can just run away? Us? Run away? Don't be stupid. We're letting you go. For now. That Present sounds like primary you're running away! objective is development yep. and... <laughs> Retrieval of Biometal Model W. Engaging Mega Man Model A in combat. Does not fall within strategic operational parameters. I mean, you could kill what? us right now. We so you're just H. going to ignore no us, kidding. huh? kidding. Double teaming us for the <laughs> outrage to destroy us. You understand correctly. We can end you at any time. You would do and well do to now. hone your skills by the next time we meet. <laughs> Uh, they think There's of us that lowly. two of you! <laughs> Finally, we were able to reach you. Are you okay? We verified Ow. that the security system has indeed been disarmed. Now you should be able to continue. This room always fascinated me. It's like, is this, again, another part of Ragnarok? Speaking that 
while literally fused with it, and this looks like all the ca wires and things he would have had. I do find it interesting how there is a giant container in the middle of the room. Yeah, a shattered container like that. And it also makes me want to pretend to say that looks closer to where the uh, some of the cyber elves were. Yeah, another location. It makes me wonder how many people Prometheus and Pandora have been manipulating up to this point. Which, uh, should probably bring this up, uh, Jess, since you played ZX, what happened to all the bottles? After the game. Last I knew, they were still in Vent Nails care! So it leaves the curiosity as to what were they doing with other people. Yeah. And, uh, that's a responsibility. <laughs> Just lets you traverse through some of the poles. Yeah, he does have a means of attack as well, it's just I don't use it too often. It's a little awkward. It is. And using Rogue Sparks full power to the extent kind of only depends if some areas does have holes or not. Yeah. Oh, yay. <laughs> and if you heard that little chime, uh, yeah, it just restocked the extra lives I lost too. <laughs> Okay. Well, uh, that went marvelously. <laughs> Shall we head to the next location? Yeah. Okay. Actually, just to be go, on the we safe side. We should go to the next area. Yeah, okay. Alright, this is the one I want to override. Always have a backup! Yep. Okay. Due to an airship crash in this area, safety locks are in operation. <laughs> With the elemental switches. And sadly, we only have two. Yep, which means uh, we have to go back, because I, yep. I'm remembering right. Yep. But there is another save point in this area, surprisingly. This is true. Where is it? Past this point, okay. No, no, it was hmm? on the other. It was just between those oh. two doors. Oh, right. Okay. Like not that door. The uh, the two door. One of the doors you were are went in. Oh, you mean For the one reason, I? Both of those have the same points. Yeah, because it leads to two different locations. But kind of leaves the funniness as to when after you finish the two, then why even have those two in the first place? Yeah. So uh, this is where the warp system kind of weird for me. There's. You can see there's a transporter in this room because of that yellow icon there, but you won't be taken to the transporter, you'll be taking the transport module instead. Yeah, I don't blame you on that little minor complaint. Yeah, like if there's a transport room there, it should connect with the other transport room, not just the module. That's the only nitpick I really have about the transport system in this game. It's one thing I will give ZX Advent over because they were abundance of them and they were frequent. Uh, I can't go down that way yet, can I? Nope. You have to go through the red door. Alright. Two, two routes from the same location. Alright. This way this time. Where you can see it's a little icy down there. Uh, what's in here again? <laughs> Uh, just a secret disc that's... <laughs> I can't get. <laughs> the most ridiculous as to how you're supposed to get that. Yeah, I can't get it yet with Grey. And then that room we can't go to yet, because we don't have a green card key. Uh, okay. that's just funny at how you're supposed to get each key. Yep. Ah! Uh, remember how I said I hate ice? You went quiet. <laughs> eh. I just wasn't sure we should be, like, speaking some of the lines there. Like. Nah. <laughs> we haven't gotten to them yet. Uh, this area is a perfect example of how much do you like slippery ice? Oh, yeah. Why and you only just those ice blocks. Yeah. But just like in the Mega Man Zero series, you only get the maximum dash jump off of ice when you're at the end peak of your dash. Meaning if you dash jump midway, you lose that momentum completely. Luckily the terrain in this area isn't too bad as far as progressions go. 
Yeah. It could have been a lot jerky in this area, but no, they're very generous in this water terrain. Yes, they are. It's only in the, the only thing that makes a downside is that you cannot uh, wall jump anything that has ice cubes on it. Yeah. Oh, uh, that secret disc is a jerk. Yeah, it is. Crap. Dang it. Am I? You can use bug fire. Oh, yeah! <laughs> can you tell I don't use the transformations that often? Bug fire is your biggest friend just to get through some certain sections through the ice. Yeah. What would I do without you, Pichu? I'd be sitting there racking my brain. 